Helen Keller stated that alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And just like this quotation, we have came forward across group of people who came forward and framed an organization naming it as Zindagi Life Foundation in Ludhiana. To be the hope of thalassemia patients, it has been a decade. These people are working each day to make India free from thalassemia. Thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder characterized by less oxygen carrying protein and fewer red blood cells in body than normal. Treatment can help, but this condition can't be cured. But due to its expenditure, people fail to afford. This foundation appeared to bear costs of transfusion of blood. Routine diagnostic tests also carry costs for, for uh, bone marrow transplant of thalassemia patients and assist in providing bone marrow matching. Plus, make important awareness on thalassemia causes precautions and meet day-to-day -day medical expenses of these medical patients. Moreover, seminars in colleges are organized and counseling is done for patients so that they can lead their life in better way. Welcome to the first episode of CSMC Talks. I am Parul Gupta, budding student of journalism and mass communication. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. Yogesh Gupta, who is contributing for Zindagi Life Foundation from a very long time. A very warm welcome and thank you for appearing on CSMC Talk, sir. Thank you. Uh, even it's my pleasure to be on the talk. Okay, sir. So my very first question to you, sir, is what exactly thalassemia is? As you correctly mentioned, Parul, thalassemia is a genetic disorder. It comes to yes. the child from the parents. Even the oh. child doesn't know that when he's born that uh, he's going to get this disorder. So it's basically a genetic mm -hmm. disorder. There's a mismatch of the genes. And with the oh. X and uh, uh, a child is born with the X and the Y chromosomes. So mm -hmm. when there's a certain set of chromosomes, this disorder comes into action. So it's okay. basically a genetic disorder and uh, it, there is no fault of the patient. The, the patient and the parents are unaware that this uh, disease is going to come into action now. Okay. So it's basically a genetic disorder, nothing else. Okay. So, sir, how do you balance your work of organization with professional life? That's a very tough, uh, very tough question to answer because it's a very tough thing working for the general public. You have to spare time from your professional life and your work life also. So definitely it's a very uh, difficult thing to do. But then since we have taken this up on your own will, so then you have to spare out time. And uh, sometimes we've got to sacrifice our work also, lose out on virtual good business and lo lose out on uh, professional or individual life also, we've got to miss a lot of things, but then that's okay. Since nobody has imposed it on us, we have taken it on our own. So then we have to maintain the balance and we do it. It's okay. It's, we have to leave certain things, accept certain things, but then this is very important. Yes, sir. That's very true. So, sir, in this 10 years of foundation, yes. how people working for this have inspired youth to come forward and work for this association. Uh, okay, actually, uh, we most since most of the patients are young people who are just around uh, aged between two to ten years. So then, what happens is uh, the youth we, we like we make sure that all these people from the colleges and all the universities we attend seminars. So we ensure mm -hmm. them that they know they are, they are aware of this disorder, and then that their parents they need to know that they need to get this test done. So then. They, uh, the patient won't get this disorder. Okay. So, we bet, so we motivate the youth to come ahead and take up the cause and tell their parents and their fellow mates that oh. we have to get this test done for thalassemia. That's very interesting, sir. So, sir, yeah. how do people come in contact with your foundation and how does it help the patients suffering? Okay, how do people come in contact with us? What happened was like we are... We are. We used to go to the hospital, like we have the Dayanand Medical College over here. That's one of yes. the main hospitals in Ludhiana. We used to go there for donating blood. Oh. So once as it happened with me, when I went there, I donated blood and I saw a uh, particular child, he was there. Then yeah. when I went again after three months, he was again there. 
so oh. it's very so i noticed that that this guy was there last time also and then when i came when 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 i went for the third time also he was again there so <laughs> i got very uh, you know uh, and i was saying what is happening why is this guy they go over here again and again so only out of anticipation i asked that doctor there that why is this guy over here again and again then he told me that he is suffering from thalassemia and thalassemia oh. is this then he explained everything to me so then okay. that at that point it hit me hard i said it's very difficult here either you've got to uh, you know change your blood every mm. month or 15 days so then that hit us so that's how we started this we started to get together our whole bunch our, of our uh, my friends we started this organization so like we'll be providing blood to these thalassemia patients and then they, mm. uh, at that time since we started around 11 years back people were not enthusiastic to donate blood they were very hesitant <laughs> when they were hesitant so then uh, we had to really motivate them so to to donate blood so we yes, started sir. this organization and we named it as zindagi life foundation okay so sir so it's just like smoothies yeah basically yes. the child comes from the hospital only we got to know about this uh, the uh, suffering of the patient from the hospital only okay so sir it's basically like smoothies now makes it less strong <laughs> absolutely yes sir so sir uh, how the members started this organization and how was the result of this foundation okay we started it for, uh, we got the ngo registered with the registrar of societies yes sir since you have to have a platform uh, you have to have a organization then only you can you know because then funds started flowing and we started we needed to since we needed to organize camps we needed funds to you know spend mm-hmm. on these camps so then we made this organization and uh, our youth oh, sorry our uh, members we all got together we pooled in money every month as per one's jo bhi uski ichha hai he sends he pools in money according to one's mm-hmm. will and then that's how we started okay so so what was your first when that made you feel like you are enough confident about your working with this with this organization okay so what happened was uh, the first thing when earlier we used to do only blood donation camps then what happened was we got to know that in from the indianan medical college 30 people 30 patients were suffering from hepatitis b oh. sorry hepatitis c yeah hepatitis c is the is the problem which happens when uh, you have to go for regular blood transfusion then mm. this sometimes this problem arises so then 30 patients got hepatitis c so when they got hepatitis c they uh, they need to take a, take some really expensive medicines which they were yeah. not able to afford oh and uh, they were infected for the last 6 months to 1 year we tried a lot nobody came up for their help for their support oh. so then we took it up and then the uh, the expenses were quite a huge amount it was about mm. uh, amounting to rupees 1 crore rupees Okay. so then we took this up and we decided to get them treated and mm-hmm. when we took this decision god was with us he supported us hugely everything happened with god's blessings only no doubt in that and then uh, first of all since it was a huge amount and very difficult to gather 1 crore rupees so then we started we said let's take up five children mm-hmm. so we five children we let's let's treat, get five children treated so then we st- took up five children then uh, we thought that which five children to take mm-hmm. out of those 30 that's a very important decision whom to take yes. up and whom to leave behind so then once we could collect funds up to five children then we got we said if we can do five we can do we can do another 25 also yes. so then the next 25 also mm-hmm. so then what happened was uh, there is this company roche pharma from switzerland oh. we chased them up we got in touch with them got in touch with their agm with their gm and the uh, managing committee in switzerland and through emails and uh, regular conversation we got yeah. a very good offer that the, uh, their company was doing these injection they gave us a 50% discount on these injections so it is basically not the injection discount they gave us they gave us one vial free on a vial on a vial okay. of injection we got a one vial free so then that was yeah. very helpful in uh, for us so then yeah. they it 15 patients for us so okay. then after we got 15 patients treated from roche then there's another company in india it's called msd so msd mm. 
they also supplied us the re- remaining 15 patients uh, vials so basically mm-hmm. we were do we could do a project of 1 crore rupees from by spending uh, approximately only 15 lakhs from our pocket so that is very mm-hmm. encouraging and uh, that mm-hmm. is really what made us confident that we could really do something about this thalassemia children yes sir so it's just like where there is will there is a way absolutely and the society uh-huh. played a phenomenal role they supported us like amazingly Hmm. it's a very uh, motivating thing also matlab hamara mann karta hai ki ha hum bhi aaye aur hum bhi ye sab kare hum it also helps us to release our endorphins absolutely and you can easily do it because once you're 18 you can donate blood so it's there's no problem in that yes so 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 uh, there are situations where very young children need help to fight their battles so how you people motivate them to fight with their disease there some of these most of these patients are not well off yes sir so they have very little money to support their treatment okay. and so they are not as much willing to get themselves treated which is another big problem they okay. don't have the means to get themselves treated so since they don't have mm-hmm. the means they don't have the will power to get themselves treated okay get my point yes sir so, so uh, and they like Okay, sure. Please carry on. Please ask. So I was asking that uh, this is a. बहुत बार ऐसे होता है कि मतलब छोटे-छोटे बच्चे होते हैं. तो definitely जब हम उनको syringe चढ़ाते हैं मतलब blood donation वाली uh, blood वाली तो sir उनको definitely pain भी होता होगा. तो sir मतलब वो कहते भी होंगे कि हमने treatment नहीं करवाना. तो sir हम कैसे motivate कर सकते हैं उनको? देखो आप उनको support कर सकते हो. देखो treatment कराने के लिए सुई तो injection तो लगाना ही पड़ेगा. There's no other way out. तो so, तो उनका हौसला अफजाई कर सकते हैं वी जस्ट लाइक बी बाय द बेड साइड ट्राई टू गिव देम सम चॉकलेट्स और बैलून्स जो थैलेसी में बना हुआ है डीएनसी में बहुत अच्छी तरह से बना हुआ है वो बहुत डेकोरेटेड है वहां पे टेडी बेयर्स हैं वहां पे ऐसी चीजें हैं बच्चों को खेलने के लिए कार्टून्स चलते रहते हैं टीवी पे सो देन दे गेट मोटिवेटेड बच्चों को ये होता है उनको पता नहीं लगता तो एक बार सुई लगती है उसके बाद तो ब्लड चढ़ाने में एक घंटा लग जाता है तो तब वो टीवी रहते हैं और उनको थोड़ा हम बिजी इन ग्रॉस रख दे अदर थिंग उसके अलावा हम क्या करते हैं कि कभी कभी इनको आफ्टर सिक्स टू मंथ्स टू वन ईयर भी टेक दम आउट फॉर अ मूवी लाइक उससे पहले एक बार मूवी रिलीज हुई थी क्रिश इट इज वेरी मोटिवेटिंग दी चिल्ड्रन सो वी टुक दम आउट फॉर दैट मूवी एंड टेल दम यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग इन लाइफ एंड देन ओनली सो दैट इज हाउ यू नो वी ट्राई टू मोटिवेट दैम सो दैट की fighting with this dreaded disease yes sir so so uh, at last i wish uh, and um, so i wish and it will be my honor that if you share your journey with uh, zindagi life foundation with young viewers okay uh, <laughs> i told you quite a lot but then we started in 2001 and uh, yeah. and that's how that's the first day when we started to organize camps then we used to have regular blood donation camps uh, every month or every 3 months and uh, mm-hmm. i'm very happy to tell you like in 2014 we had a camp in which we did 555 units of blood in one day wow that's amazing that was that was the it was around 2014 when we did that after that uh, it was a huge amount for one day we had a he- very difficult task collecting it and then taking care mm-hmm. of it so then we decided we won't have huge camps we like to take up camps for 150 100 donations which makes it easier for the blood to be you know uh, used also and because blood has components the hospital has to take it to the hospital and then uh, get components out of it there are four types of components which are taken out from one unit of blood okay, okay. so then after that we were told ki that we it is very important for you to get a yourself a uh, atc exemption that is how people you know donate money for you so that mm. they get income tax rebate so they so then we got into we got uh, our income tax exemption certificate from the income tax authorities and okay. then after we kept on adopting p- children we used to get quite a lot of applications for from underprivileged patients we uh, get mm. those applications scrutinized whether they are really eligible and mm. uh, whether they are really need in of, of help or support from us because our whatever money we collect is from the society so we ensure that all the money is being used correctly nothing is misused 
then we have also ensured that all the payments that we make to the hospital or to the uh, patient also is through account based check or to bank transfers nothing is done in cash 95% of our payments whatever payment we make is done through yeah transfers only or either by checks so okay. we long way i mean we are still now as on date we have 136 patients who are being supported by our foundation their blood costs mm-hmm. hospital costs are all borne by the foundation okay which we are and i still think it's a long way to go but the message that i we generally give at all the at all the meetings and all the uh, you know at all the places is that uh, please get yourself tested for thalassemia before you get married mm. it's a very small test and it's cost some meager 1000 rupees and if you mm. go through our forms we have tied up with certain amount of certain uh, laboratories who will give you a 50% rebate on the tests so then you oh. can only get it tested by 500 rupees by spending 500 rupees and it's a very simple test you have to mm. get this phobia out of your mind that uh, you have to get your janam patri test uh, matched you know you can do that janam patri matching is important according to the bills of the parents you know nothing behind that you should not get away from that but the point is please get yourself tested for thalassemia also before getting married so okay. this is that has been a journey and we still continuing it now we have launched a new project it's called roko thalassemia so yeah. the thalassemia is we want to ensure that india becomes thalassemia free in the shortest amount of time in it becomes mm-hmm. as soon as possible and you will be really sad to hear that uh, the number of patients of thalassemia the maximum in punjab from all over india mm-hmm. we have maximum patients in punjab So we are trying to eradicate thalassemia right from mm. not only from Punjab but from all over India. Right now we are focusing only on Punjab. So okay. it's been a long journey, and uh, but still a lot more to go. Awareness yes, of thalassemia is most important. If we can make maximum amount of people aware on thalassemia and get this 